Um, but I do want to make something clear. Uh, I know that people want to get back to work. Trust me, I want you to get back to work. I know that people want to gather again with their families. Trust me, I want to get together and gather with my family again, too. I know that this has come at a great sacrifice to Prince George and to our business community, uh, that we have sacrificed so much. But quite frankly, we can't reopen because we don't have the resources that we need to do so safely. What this means is that we have made certain requests uh, and that we have not received the, the resources that we need to safely reopen. I want to thank the state uh, of Maryland for the seamless communication that we have had. Uh, we've enjoyed that communication. We stand ready uh, to partner with you, as we always have. But we need the state to do its part. Put simply, we need the state to do its part, just like it is the federal government's responsibility to make sure that the state has the resources it needs. So it is the state's responsibility to make sure that all of these jurisdictions likewise have the resources that we need to be able to move on and to open our jurisdiction safely. At this point, we don't have it. We do not have the gowns that we have needed. We do not have enough PPE. We don't have enough tests to expand the capacity for what we need. We don't have enough contact tracers. And these are metrics that were set out by the governor. And what I can tell you is that Prince George's County at this moment does not have the critical resources that will be necessary for us to meet those metrics. Um, Prince George's County residents are not just Prince Georgians, they're Marylanders. And what this means is the tr truth of the matter is that if Prince Georgians are sick, so is the rest of the state of Maryland. And so please, we need to continue to work together. Again, I want to thank the administration for, uh, for the seamless communication, uh, for the willingness to work with us. I have also been in constant communication with my colleagues from the other larger jurisdictions in the state of Maryland, uh, the other county executives. We were on the phone until late into the evening last night. But again, the populations of Prince George's County and Montgomery County in particular make up a third of the state. Uh, right now, that is where the crux of the cases are. We likewise make up 40% of the state's economy. Unless Prince George's and Montgomery County's residents are healing and well, uh, the rest of the state likewise will suffer. And so it is in everyone's interest that Prince George's County is able to safely reopen and recover from this virus. And the same is true for our neighbors in Montgomery County. 